So how can you lucid dream using the dream character induced lucid dreaming technique? When do you do this properly? It will be automatic. It will be kind of natural and effortless for you. So this is a technique I've refined after trying a mixture of things during lucid dreams. So I've been playing around a lot with dream commands. I read a really good book that explored the implications of dream commands and kind of made me want to try it a bit more. If you're interested in that book, it's called Gateway to the Inner Self, and I'll try and put a link in the description. So a dream command is where you ask the dream itself to do something. You can ask the dream a question or just communicate with the dream in another way like that. So I used it in my other lucid dream, which I titled Lucid Dreaming Transcendent, which you can find on the channel, uh, basically to manipulate the dream by asking it to do what I wanted. But then I started to think, what if I could ask the dream characters themselves to help me become lucid? So, I mean, we'll get to that in a second, but I started by asking things like, what's my life purpose? Can you help me try to get to, you know, whichever place I was trying to get to? How would I find my dream guide? And that sort of thing. Now, usually what happened is the result was completely random. But one thing I noticed that was when I asked a dream character to do something, I always got a response. Okay, now it might not be the response I wanted, but they always responded in some way. So after a few weeks of experimenting, I came up with a technique you can try in your lucid dreams or in your normal dreams to help you become lucid more often. It's not perfect and it might not work for everybody, but here's how you do it. You're gonna train your dream characters to help you become lucid. So firstly, you have to be able to remember your dreams. This is the absolute foundation. And this technique is not a one-time thing. It's something that becomes more effective over time. In order to really see the benefits of the de Kyled technique, you need to practice it for a few weeks. So like I said, you're gonna train your dream characters to help you become lucid. Basically, you need to become lucid several times and actively seek out your dream characters and then train them. So it's not something that's gonna help you lucid dream the first time. If you want something like that, check out the lucid breakthrough system linked in the description or watch more of my videos. But once you can already become lucid, this is how you become more lucid more often. Now, you're not really training your dream characters because the characters are part of you. So you're really training your subconscious mind. So what you need to do is in your next lucid dream, go up to as many dream characters as you possibly can and just ask them to help you become lucid the next time you're dreaming. What will happen is in the future, you'll be in a normal dream, you'll be doing something random, and then suddenly a dream character randomly pops up and says, you're dreaming right now. You literally help yourself become lucid. It's almost like your subconscious mind is helping itself. It's a really cool technique because you know, when it happens, it feels amazing. It's like in the Matrix, you know, when they ring Neo and say, you're in, or, you know, I'm in. It's literally like your dream character is waking you up and you're suddenly in the lucid world. So what can you actually ask your dream characters? Here are some examples. You can say, hey, next time I'm dreaming, can you please tell me that I'm dreaming? You can say, help me become lucid next time. Or you can say, come and find me next time I'm dreaming and tell me it's not real. Now, you can obviously come up with your own. You don't have to use those. The idea is just to ask your dream characters themselves to help you become lucid in the future. Importantly, you need to expect the dream character to help you. You need to really believe that they actually are there for you and they want to help you. Now, like I said, it might take a few weeks. If you're looking for a faster technique, then obviously try the 90 aisled, try the wake back to bed, uh, go through the breakthrough system. But this is a really great technique and it feels really special when it works because it's literally like you're helping your own subconscious to help you lucid dream. Now, the only real problem with this for a few people is what if you don't dream about dream characters? What if you're in the middle of a desert? And this happens sometimes, you know, for some people. So what you can do in that situation is let's say if you are in the mountains or in the middle of nowhere, Try visualizing a busy city before you go to bed, because then you're more likely to dream about a place where there is likely to be dream characters. Try also looking for a dream portal and expecting to find yourself in a busy city when you go through the portal. Now, I have used this to massive success in the past. It does work. It just takes a bit of practice, takes a few weeks. And of course, you need to be able to become lucid first. So if you can't become lucid at all, then that's absolutely fine, don't worry. Uh, check out the Lucid Breakthrough System, watch more of my videos, meditate every morning, you know the basics, right? And then once you can become lucid, this is a insanely powerful way of becoming lucid more often. And as you can imagine, the more you do this, the more times you train your dream characters, it becomes more and more reliable, easier over time. So check out the Breakthrough System, Give this video a like. If we get to a thousand likes, I will do some kind of ridiculous, embarrassing or funny thing in the next video.